Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Saturday, October 29th. Today's Gospel reading for the Daily Mass comes to us from the 14th chapter of St. Luke's Gospel. It reads, On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees, and the people there were observing him carefully. He told a parable to those who had been invited, noticing how they were choosing the places of honor at the table. When you're invited by someone to a wedding banquet, do not recline at table in the place of honor. A more distinguished guest than you may have been invited by him, and the host who invited both of you may approach you and say, Give your place to this man, and then you proceed with embarrassment to take the lowest place. Rather, when you are invited, go and take the lowest place, so that when the host comes to you, he may say, My friend, move up to a higher position. Then you enjoy the esteem of your companions at the table. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Today's parable has us reflecting upon our internal motivations. And if we look out into the contemporary society, it is hard sometimes to wonder what is driving people. But each of us needs to get in touch with that reality. Is our most fundamental internal motivation to seek out people who recognize us, to seek out people who love us? Or again, maybe our motivations are more sinful. We are prideful. We want people to recognize our, our talents and gifts. Or we're greedy. So we're going to work as hard as we can to get money, position, and power. Whatever it is, brothers and sisters, Christ wants us to make sure we have a different internal motivation than any of these. The only thing that should guide us is being humble. To live the two greatest commandments of love of God and love of neighbor and to truly not worry about anything else. And I know that this is hard. Again, as I mentioned, it's contemporary society. We see people doing all sorts of things, and many of their behaviors are hard to understand. But again, in our own lives, in our own hearts, Jesus calls us to simply be humble. And again, not to worry about what other people think of us, not to worry about what may happen to us, and not to worry about anything else other than, again, living out the two greatest commandments. And if we can do this, we will find a lot of peace. Because of further reflection on today's gospel passage, people were invited to the meal and they should have been happy that they were invited. Where people were sitting should not have been of a concern. Because again, they were invited to this meal because they were important enough to the leading Pharisee. So that's what was most important. So again, our internal motivations, if they are not motivated by Christ, they can lead us down wrong paths. And we can miss out on so many blessings and wonderful things that happen in our lives all the time. But again, we miss out on these realities because our hearts and minds are not directed towards what's most important, loving God and loving neighbor. And also, I think it's important to recognize that many of us, we want to be humble, but for some reason we fight against sinfulness in our lives. And if this is the case, keep up the fight. Christ came so that we would have grace to not only strive to overcome sin, but also to acknowledge that we don't have to do any of this by ourselves. That we do have our Lord and Savior through his grace helping us to strive to become more and more like him and to truly live in a humble way so that we can be his presence in this world. Because the humbler we become, the more Christ-like we will become. And this, brothers and sisters, is what people need to see in this world. 
they need to see Christ. And by seeing Christ, they will come to know that things can be different in their lives and the kingdom of God can be built up. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. Thank you.